Hello fellow con goers, I'm Josh, this is Josh Build Stuff, and I hope you pack your deodorant because today we're heading to LEGO Con. LEGO Con was a two hour long presentation that LEGO put on in an official since to showcase a bunch of new and I mean not that many new products that are out there. It was uh, an interesting show. I'll just give some of my my impressions. I'm not going to go, go over the entire show from start to finish because there was a lot of fluff in there. Uh, it already sounds like my initial impressions is more leaning negative towards positive. I don't really want to spin it that way. It was a live show, which is a bold thing to do. It's not easy to do. I used to work in live production and it is a stressful place to work. There, there's all kinds of moving parts going on, and then on top of that, they're trying to stream that out to the world, to millions of people. It's obviously putting a big load on their system. Uh, the good news is it only went down for technical difficulties a couple of times, and for not that long at a time. And so I guess what I'm saying is if you went into this presentation with, like, reasonable expectations, then you may not have been too disappointed. But I want to go over some positives and negatives, or I guess we should call them pros and cons of this con. And the pro is that it was professionally done. It was nice when everything was working and the audio was uh, audible, as you would like audio to be. But there were also a bunch of cons to this whole thing. So let's go over both of those things right now. Here's what I think is the biggest pro of this entire showcase. That's that new sets were being revealed. At least a couple were. And I guess they were kind of revealed. They were also kind of already leaked, which is what a lot of us had feared in the first place. But a lot of people like me probably went into this this presentation only looking to see the new stuff and see if we were going to get a new UCS gunship announced or really just new LEGO Star Wars stuff announced. And I guess the good news is that we did kind of get three new LEGO Star Wars sets officially announced. We got the big new Moff Gideon's cruiser, we got the little troop transport thing, uh, and the, the new Boba Fett's uh, ship. Those three had all previously, unfortunately, already been leaked online, uh, but now they're officially on the lego.com website. So you can go there and see real nice, big, clear images of those sets that we've all kind of known were coming for some time. The bad news is that that was all that was newly revealed, and even that was barely newly revealed. We were all kind of anticipating kind of uh, I don't know, predicting what the newly revealed sets might be, and it, a lot of people thought and hoped that it would be the new CS Republic, new CS? The new UCS Republic gunship, and unfortunately it was not mentioned or revealed at all, not even as like a one last thing, like at other uh, uh, presentations that has become a trend in the industry, but there, there was a tweet by m and Productions yesterday from Ryan who was like, hey, apparently there are leaked images of the UCS gunship floating around online and Commander Cody is included. And I'm like, I don't know how valid that is. Sure, that, that kind of sounds like fan service, but we will see if that's actually the case. Today was not the day when we saw if that was actually the case. So in LEGO Star Wars, that's all they really talked about. There was no new Mandalorian armory that was revealed. There was nothing else revealed from the new line of sets, though I think a bunch of them are now on the official LEGO website. You can go check those out. But other than that, the, the biggest downside is that that was all of the newly revealed sets. So nothing new from any other theme, regardless of Star Wars or not. Like there was nothing else that was new announced at all, which is a little disappointing for someone like me, who that's really all I was looking for in this entire show. Here are some of what I think are the cons worth mentioning about this con. Uh, that they're, I guess they're negatives. I don't want to sound too negative in saying them. They're just things that, that I was a little disappointed in. One, we didn't talk about anything new from Marvel, even though there have been a bunch of other new Marvel sets revealed. It would have been cool to see, I don't know, something mentioned from that. They did mention a bunch of other themes uh, across the rest of the show. I'll give my impressions on some of those other segments, even if they are brief impressions. Uh, the other the other kind of negative about the show, and this is something that we all should have been ex expecting in this show, and again, this is why you enter into these kind of presentations with reasonable expectations. The other thing was that this show was kind of targeted towards kids, which we can expect because it, it is Lego after all. Uh, they did a kind of acknowledge AFOLs and talk about them. They even uh, they showcased some some other content creators, uh, including Tricky Bricks. It was cool to see Flynn and Richard on there, so shout out to them. But even that little, even that little Tricky Bricks segment at the, it was in the pre-show. Um, they they focused on like building techniques of like hinges and stuff, and I was like, this is telling, this is kind of setting a precedent for the show of like, oh, this is this is for kids because they're teaching us about Lego hinges in this case. But uh, the other the other kind of big negative that 
Aside from the show being kind of targeted towards kids, and so it was kind of fluffy and high energy and whatnot, and the kids, they have so much energy, I ain't got the energy for all that dancing llama nonsense. Um, the other kind of negative that I that I already mentioned was that if you follow LEGO News, even if just casually, a lot of the quote-unquote new stuff that they showed today, you would have already been aware of. Like, a lot of the, the new sustainability efforts with the water bottles and, like, the new Ninjago Seabound thing and, like, a bunch of stuff that the presentation presented as new or like news uh, you would have already seen it if you just follow some twitter accounts and instagram accounts like even throughout the show they were kind of teasing a reveal of like this new video set that uh that the one of the hosts was building and like it was it was pretty obvious if you i guess i i'm a little biased because i'm a little more ingrained in the lego world because i'm making content about lego and so a lot of this news i'm sure was was new to a lot of people but like one of the hosts was like teasing at a new set that she was building and in the end it was like the video boombox which has been revealed and like reviewers already have copies of it and you can you can find plenty about it online already and so like that was a little bit of a bummer like anything that they showed I at least had already seen. Otherwise, it was an alright show. It was still fun to watch. My kids were in the room and it was family friendly enough for them to be, I don't know, casually entertained every once in a while when they looked up from their iPads because we are a screen household in this household. But the show did cover a whole bunch of different themes spread out across a whole bunch of different segments. So let's talk about those little segments now. The first, they talked about space for a little while. They talked to a real astronaut, Mike Massimino. That dude's pretty cool, but that segment was very long. Also, they showed like Space Shuttle and ISS sets which are like oh those are cool but those have been out for a while they're on my shelves back there right now space shuttle they were doing this whole thing with the dots wall which is fun because audience could kind of participate in that and submit a little dots design that people would build right there that was okay they went to say talked about some harry potter stuff which they showed off some of the new sets which um are not actually new sets they're in stores right now you can buy them anywhere they're cool but again not new they had an interesting segment that they called technical difficulties where they just they just stopped the stream for a while so uh bold bold production choice i would say <laughs> They talked about some Minecraft stuff, which is also already out in some parts of the world. We talked about some LEGO Ideas stuff and the LEGO Typewriter, which, again, has already been out for a good amount of time. We talked about sustainability efforts, which I, of course, applaud. But again, we already knew about that from uh, Twitter accounts at this point. We talked about LEGO Friends. It was cool to see some LEGO designers hanging out. Like, we had some uh, designers from the LEGO Friends line. We had uh, at least one uh, LEGO designer from... Uh, the, the Lego space line. So that was that was fun. It was cool to see some interviews and conversations with some real Lego designers. It was a little uh, a little weak that it's like here's a QA and a from a question. It's like what's your favorite part of designing a Lego set at working at Lego? Like it just the fans submitted questions that usually lack depth because they're usually by a younger audience. But I'm, I'm again, it sounds like I'm being too critical. I'm saying it was cool to see real conversations with real designers. We talked about Ninjago Underwater series, which again, new sets for that are already revealed and out. But even so, I guess, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. We talked about Mario and Luigi, which we gotta talk about Mario and Luigi, because Luigi is new. Again, we already knew that Luigi was new, and he was revealed a little while ago, as were some new uh, LEGO Mario sets. This one, this segment was a little weird, because uh, in all of the other segments, we talked about LEGO sets that are out, and showed things about LEGO sets that are that are out or coming out. And then this one, they showed a quote-unquote advertisement. I say quote-unquote, because literally on the ad, like it was like a commercial, they had like advertisement written in the bottom corner to uh, make sure that we knew it was an advertisement. But I'm like, this is a con that's just showing off a bunch of your company's products. And so this entire show is kind of an advertisement, but this one was even more explicitly an advertisement. I did like the part in the ad where the dad walks into the room and looks up and it's like the, the two kids are just dancing on the wall and he looks down at his cup of coffee and he's like, I either put too much in this morning or not enough this morning. I was like, hashtag relatable, you know what I'm talking about, other dads out there. So yeah, Lego Mario & Luigi was alright. Talk about that new little Lego Journey game, or rather we, we showed an advertisement for that one. I wasn't actually sure if it was an advertisement, because it didn't have the word advertisement just burned onto the screen for that one. We also talked very briefly, albeit, about Lego Technic stuff, and then didn't talk about any new Technic stuff, even though there's new Technic stuff that's been leaked. We got like a Ford 
truck coming and then there's also like a, a big Technic bulldozer that's also leaked and then I was like oh are they going to talk about the new bulldozer and then no they talked about the couple of Volvo dump trucks which uh, those those had been revealed a, a while ago and but I mean my kid actually did get interested in the segment about big Technic dump trucks because he's a kid and of course he likes dump trucks and they were like transporting jello across a little obstacle course and then my kid's like oh no the jello they fell who won and it's like my kid was engaged in that part so sure this thing was targeted towards kids that worked i was like show me new stuff and then they were like no so that was like the entire presentation it was a two hour long presentation i gave it to you there in about five minutes or so overall my thoughts on the con were it's a it was okay like it was entertaining i sat there and watched it for a few hours but like uh, a lot of i think that the sentiment in the lego community will be negative for those who went in with high expectations and mediocre like mine for people who went in with reasonable expectations but let me know if you watched the lego con presentation and if you did let me know what you thought about it in the comments down below if you were wondering and saying saying like oh I, I didn't watch it should i seek out a vod and and watch it if i missed it i'd say no just find like a highlight video a video like this one that tells you all the stuff worth watching don't not this video like find a better produced video by a, a more attractive uh, person hosting the video not this one but if you did watch it let me know what you thought about it as always thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it if you did be sure to like subscribe and tell your friends again thank you so much for watching there's a big ball pit over there i'm gonna go hop in remember that remember that meme from like some other some con that was a while ago i don't remember what that was but it's, it's like a con thing and this was a video about a con this has gone on too long i'll see you